So I'm a tax attorney here in Helena, Montana. I grew up in Helena. I went to Harvard Law School, University of Montana undergrad, so still proud Grizz, and spent about seven years on the East Coast working in, in the legal field and moved back with my wife three years ago. We really focus on tax or estate planning. Essentially, your estate planning or you know, end-of-life planning is, is really important for a lot of reasons. Fundamentally, it will give you some peace of mind as you, as you age, especially if you have children or family members who you want to ensure are taken care of. So the first step when you come into the office is going to be to sit down and find out you know, what are your biggest concerns, who are the people that you want to ensure are taken care of, and you know the beauty of it is if you do it right and you sit down, that person then can sleep easier at night knowing that if they do pass away, those things have been taken care of and that somebody is gonna be able to follow the instructions they've left for how to take care of their, their, their children and their family and their friends. Good estate planning will save a lot of, a lot of heartache for your, for your family members and a lot of money for those organizations or individuals who are gonna be receiving gifts upon your death. When people make gifts, it's, it's because somewhere in this life, they've come across an organization that speaks to them, that has helped them, that carries on a mission that's important to them. It's really given out of their heart, I mean, more than anything else. And so while you still do have tax benefits from giving, especially in Montana, we have, um, there's a Montana Endowment Tax Credit, for example, that, that you can get the benefit of. And sometimes reducing your tax bill allows you to actually give more money. And often that's the way people see it. Well, if I save 30 cents in taxes, that's 30 cents more I can give to the organization I care about. I, I very strongly encourage those individuals to work with the charity to have a very clear, well spelled out definition of what that is. Because the last thing that you want is long after your life, part of your legacy to be, you know, legal fighting about whether or not the money is being used in the way you intended. You know, not being in communication with the charity about the gift and how you want it to be spent and letting them document that. Um, makes it more likely that somewhere down the road there will, there will be issues. It is such a reward to know that when you are gone off this earth that there is something here that is set up to remember the work that you put into your time and that your gift that you were giving when you were alive continues after you've gone. And maybe that's what it's really about is being able to give something indefinitely as opposed to only having this short time frame within which to make a gift. Yeah, I certainly wouldn't want to suggest that the only legacy we ever could leave is through financial gifts, but to the extent somebody has, is privileged enough to do that, I think what a wonderful thing to know that your gift will keep going on long after you've, you've gone.